perspective on the on, on the oil pipeline, remember gas is a byproduct of oil. So if we want a gas pipeline, we better find some way to incent incent oil um, exploration and development. Uh, gas pipeline, uh, as most of you know, as I, as I mentioned, you know, cooking is running out of natural gas. We're not we're not running, running out of physical molecules so much as the deliverability, the ability to, to push molecules through the system on that cold January day. Today, um, we, we don't need that much pressure. <clears throat> on a cold day in January, we need a lot, okay? Um, and there's, you know, some solutions there, and, you know, some people say we can just drill and cook inlet. But if you look at the economics again, you don't go and drill for gas. There's not enough value there to make it happen. You drill for oil. That's how we ended up with gas. We ended up with gas here because they were drilling for oil and cook inlet. The gas was a byproduct, and the, the, the reason that we got, it was like heroin for us, the gas, because it was so cheap. The oil companies found natural gas, they started flaring it, and the state said, hold it, you're wasting our resources. We're not going to let you flare it anymore. But because it comes out of the ground with the oil, they said, well, what are we going to do with this stuff? So then they started the LNG export facility, started doing that, and then Dale Teal from MSTAR, they said, well, why don't we use it to heat our homes? Everybody here was using fuel oil at that time. So then they built a distribution system, and they said, okay, Dale, here's, here's a bunch of gas. We're going to charge you 25 cents a, a, an MCF. And he said, okay. They went and looked at the distribution system. He said, well, I can't afford to change out the furnaces and everything. So they said, well, how about a nickel? And he says, okay, for a nickel, we'll make it happen. So uh, initially, they were paying a nickel an MCF for this gas. And then the price went to 25 cents and 38. Um, and, and, and we got hooked on this cheap energy, which has been fabulous for the last 20 or 30 years. And that's kind of how we ended up in the situation that we are right now. And the reason that I'm kind of going through this um, is not only, only to bore you, that might be one reason, but also to, to think about, and this is how, I, to tell you just how I think about these things and how I think is in terms of economic incentives. At that time, there was an economic incentive for us to do nothing but burn gas. So 95% of our electricity, 95% of our heat, 95% of our energy driving our businesses was natural gas. Okay? But that, at the end of the day, once that gas, is, the cheap gas is gone, that's hurting us now. Okay? So we, and so we have problems heating our homes. So that's kind of why, I, kind of a long-winded way to, to say that. That's why we, we have to think about these economic incentives.